Hey guys, this is your girl Miss Pinky of well Ebony Bennett for grading purposes, but I am here at the all new KCOH TV The Boost. Oh my goodness. And we are about to interview, well, I'm about to interview somebody that's absolutely amazing to me, somebody who's dear to my heart. She's a character, she's full of life. She is. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what she does and then I'm gonna let her tell the rest, but she's a radio um host she's a producer she's a writer she's an editor because she edits her own plays and everything Absolutely. she's a comedian she's a minister because she's my spiritual mother sometimes i need general manager this thing okay general okay. manager I'm through. go ahead and do your own horn but okay I'm talking about how you're my spiritual mother because sometimes i need a little bit of a little bit of jesus yeah. okay <laughs> so yeah. let me introduce to you miss jerry p beasley oh, clap, 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 you know we have our own thing right okay wait. she's also a pimp uh-huh yeah go ahead to go yeah. pimping ain't easy unless it's done by a beastly it was made for you what what uh, you should let jerry pimp you too <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All right, all right. I'm so 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 excited to interview you. I'm glad you are. This is exciting. This is different for me, so I'm a little uncomfortable because I'm not used to being interviewed. You're used to being the interviewer, right? And then me being your spiritual mother and your mentor, it's like eh, I right. don't like this feeling. Like, cause basically you're in a submissive yeah, role. Right now. No, yeah, I'm yeah, I like, love it. So yeah. I'm running stuff right now. Yeah, yeah I'm like, running out this door. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So listen, tell me. Um, Tell me, I, I went ahead and I introduced you mm -hmm. to, to the world, to the audience, because this is going to be shown all over America. Of course it is. Right. And so tell me about yourself. Like, what is it that you do here at the station? Well, I am actually the visionary of this station, KCOH Radio. And uh, what I am is the general manager and program director. And so I'm uh, in charge of making sure all the programming goes on here at KCOH with different great shows that we have here. Also, the general manager making sure the daily business is running well and that we're getting those coins in here. Come on, People are knowing about this radio station, so we stay in order. So that's what I do here. Okay, so how long have you been here? I've been here four years. Okay. Yeah. So. And I'm glad to be here four years. I started off doing a Sunday show, no, a Saturday show for a friend, one hour, and then I went to a Sunday show of my own, one hour, and then I ended up getting Monday through Friday. Okay. And then uh, program director, and then I made general manager. Come on, Monday through Friday. Come on! Those are goals. Yeah. Okay, so listen, I'm so intrigued by your story of how you got started in the radio. We're going to talk a little bit about your other uh, gifts as well, but... The story about how you got started in the radio was mm. like the dopest. So I kind of want you to tell the people, how did you get started in that and how long ago was that? I went to school for radio broadcasting, um, but I didn't have a career in radio broadcasting. I went to a church called Agape Outreach Church. Uh, my pastor liked my voice and he said he was getting ready to do uh, a radio show in Conroe and he wanted me to be the voice of the opening and closing of his show. Well, I was just newly saved, just newly got to church, and I was still on that yak. Come on, And yak. still doing what I was doing and still living like I was living. So he wanted me to ride all the way to Conroe with him, and I was going to tell him, absolutely not, I'm not going to be able to make it because I didn't know how I was going to ride in the car with him that long for an hour and not cuss. And so I was about to miss destiny and purpose, and I said, I'm not going to be able to make it, and I ended up saying, you know what, I better go ahead and do it. So the, sh the ride was very uh, hard. Did you cuss? Uh, absolutely not. He said, how are you doing? Fine. Well, what's your day like? Good. So I kept it to a minimum. But when I got there, Lee Humphrey, the station manager of KYOK radio station, 1140, he was in there rushing around, moving around, and doing a whole lot of work. And I said, you look busy like you're by yourself. He said, yeah, I'm in here by myself. I said, you need me. You need me on the radio. And he hired me the same day. Really? And I almost missed purpose and destiny. For cussing? For cussing. But you've been, been delivered, right? Hey, till you come. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're about to wrap this thing up um, because we're running out of time. This interview is really? so, so, I deserve so an hour. You do deserve an hour. So listen, let me ask you this. Uh, when it comes to you doing your gifts, how do you choose which one you do? Like, which one do you love more? Which one do you, which one fuels you more? They all encompass each other. They all work together. As a minister of the gospel, I put my ministry in my productions and my plays. And so I'm actually allowing other people to preach on the pulpit, which is the stage. Wow. And so I put that all together. And on radio, you hear me in the morning praying, and, and, and people are following that on a daily basis. So they all work together. So it's not like I have to choose one or the other because God allows them to all come together. Okay, so let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to your gifts, I mean, we know that you are a comedian. You are funny as all get out. You do radio. You do plays. 
uh, you are a minister, how, and you are an actress and a producer and a writer, how do you do that being in the church? Because sometimes you know church folks can put you in a box. So I'm really, really curious about that. I'm not actually in the church because I am the church. And so I've oh, never oh. just been able to be tied down or put into a box. Too big for a box. But um, I've never been able to be tied down. <laughs> and so anyway, <laughs> so anyway, so I don't really kind of, I don't really kind of follow those rules and regulations that they have in the church. So this is my church right here. This is my church. So you go out to the people? I go out to the people through productions, through plays, productions, radio, television, and all of that stuff. The platforms that God has allowed me to be on, the Wortham Theater, the hobby. I bring church to the world. Okay. We are the church. Hey, bring the church ecclesia, to the, world. the call. Come on, ecclesia. Hey, <laughs> shut Oh, come on. No, okay, so the last thing is <laughs> if you could um, leave the audience with something, leave people with something. Um, that would that would fuel them, <laughs> that would encourage them to operate in their gifts and their anointing and, and their purpose. What would you tell the people? Celebrate your uniqueness. Mm -hmm. What I love about you is you celebrate all of who Pinky is. You celebrate your uniqueness. There is never another Pinky. I see little Pinky children every time I go to Walmart. I'm like she looks like Pinky, but Pinky celebrates Pinky. And I tell you, celebrate your uniqueness. What you feel bad about maybe be the thing God wants to really use. Mm. So celebrate that. If you see it as a flaw, celebrate it. Others are going to see it as a, a reason to celebrate as well. If oh. you start celebrating. Come on, so celebrate good times. Come on! I really didn't even mm. read because that was my solo. Mm. Anyway. Okay, guys, so listen, <laughs> we're about to wrap this thing up. I'm so, so super duper excited. I hope that you enjoyed the interview. I hope that you enjoyed learning more about Ms. J.P. Beasley. Maybe. Where can they listen to you? KCOHradio.com or download the free mobile app. In the next month, we're getting ready to change over to a brand new FM frequency. And I'm going to come back on Pinky Show and tell you then. But for right now, KCOHradio.com and download that free KCOH mobile app. All and right. follow me on Facebook. Oh, she has okay. a Facebook. And she posts every yeah. day. So if you want yeah. some anointing, oop. Yeah, shop. Come on, somebody. Yeah, Bottle of lotion. Yeah, oh, you got Instagram? I've been at it. Oh my goodness, that's don't, okay. Don't, don't come for me. I didn't think that older people had it, but she got it. <laughs> oh, come on, this is okay, synthetic. Okay. All right, so listen, you've been listening. You've been tuning in to um, this interview, and I'm so, so super duper excited. You should be too. And we are going to close this thing out. Thank you so much Thank for, you, Pinky. for allowing us to have this moment with you. Thank you for inviting me. All right, peace.